And now two congressmen, including one from the Valley, Vicente Gonzalez, are pushing a bill that would prevent airline passengers from being bumped off flights. CBS 4's Patrick Shalvier has more on the SEED Act. The video left Congressman Gonzalez outraged, which is why he proposed the SEATS Act. Just weeks after this video made headlines around the nation, showing a passenger being dragged off a United Airlines flight, local representative Vicente Gonzalez, along with Florida Representative Neil Dunn, filed the Secure Equity in Airline Transportation Act, or SEATS Act. It would do away with an airline's ability to remove any passenger from their seat if the flight is overbooked or to make room for an airline employee or otherwise. I fly every week and I see injustices every time I'm in the plane and with all airlines, uh, some more than others, and I think we need to start taking a look at them. We caught up with passengers at Valley International Airport. As long as, as, long as you pay for your ticket and you're on, on, on time and all, you should be, you should be on, on, on your seat and all that. They shouldn't, they shouldn't kick you off the airplane. Congressman Gonzalez says families and passengers need to return to feeling safe in the skies, knowing they did their part to secure a confirmed ticket and that they should not be penalized for an airline overbooking a flight, putting more pressure on airlines to sort out overbooking issues before allowing passengers to board. I've seen them get bumped on flights pretty regularly where they overbook flights. Uh, most airlines will sell 20% more of the seats available and assuming that some folks don't show up, but when they all do, then they're scrambling to try to, you know, give you a little bonus to take the next flight. Gonzalez said the bill would not interfere with any policies airlines already have in place or have changed since that United Airlines video went viral. He also said that law enforcement would be allowed to remove a passenger from a flight if they deemed that passenger to be a threat to safety to others. Inside the Valley International Airport, Patrick Shalvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.